So today we're going to learn face value. So we can be able to solve the sheets that I put in your packet, okay? So, to learn how to place value, we need to understand what is a digit. So a digit is just one number from the zero to nine. After nine comes the 10, but now we have two digits because we have one and zero. So this is not one digit anymore. Those are two digits. So a digit is a number from the zero to the number nine. To learn how to place value, there is one rule. We are gonna have three houses and we need to, to remember that we just need one digit in each house. One digit, one digit in each house. So we're gonna have ones, tens, and hundreds. So let's say that we have this number, number 20. Can number 20 fit in the one's house? No, because it has two digits. And the rule is only to have one digit. So we would have zero here and two here. This is still number 20, but there is just one digit in each house. How does this work? So maybe, when I explain this, it will be easier. Come here, come here. So here we have one, two, three, and four ones. Four ones. And none of the sudden, six more come and join here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we have 10 ones. Can they fit here? No. What happens is that they line up all together tin, 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 tin. and then some magic happens in ta -da! they turn into one ten. What do you think this is called ten? Well, because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. So this would go here. The zero could stay here because it's one digit. And the one would go here. We have one, ten, and zero ones, which makes our number ten. Ten, one, ten, zero ones. So it's as easy as splitting a number. What happens if we have the number 15? So that means we have one block of 10 and one, two, three, four, five ones. So we're gonna have one in 10 and five in ones, right? Remember, only one digit per house. That is our rule. I'm gonna show you something trickier. We already know that 10 ones turn into a 10. But what happens if we put together 10 tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some magic happens. And we get a hundred. Ten tens, if you count each one of them, are one hundred. So here, we're going to have 
hundreds, tens, and ones. And in every single house, we can only admit one digit number. So this would be the number, can you guess? 111. This may be a bit tricky, right? But what about if I write the number here, here, 312? That means that we need three blocks. One, two, three of 100. One block of 10. and two ones. And this makes our 312. And that helps us to have just one digit per house. Let's make it a bit quick here. Come and join me. What about the number 23? We would have two tens here which makes the number two tens. And we would have one, two, and three ones, which is one digit in this house. So 23 has two tens and three ones. The last one, what would happen if we have the number 121? So we would have 100, that is called 100 because it has 100. How many tens? Two. And how many ones? One. One hundred and twenty-one. Would it be okay if I write here one hundred and twenty-one? No, because we need just one digit per house. So, you're going to find some sheets in your packet. And these sheets have tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ones. What you have to do is write here the number of tens and ones. So this would be four, and this would be one, because we have just one ten. You can also find another that is tricky 